Hello, Andy here from GAATech.com. Well, here's a short video. It's under five minutes. Um, I wasn't going to do it, but while I was cutting, I thought I would make a quick video on cutting carbon fibre. As you can see, the normal dust guards have been removed so I can uh, film it for you. Uh, the black pipe is connected to my CAMVAC extract system, which filters down to point. 0 0.05 of a micron and it's a three filtration system so it's got three separate filters on it uh, anyway um, the video does speed up during the duration you don't have to watch it all at this slow pace I am using Mac 3 to control my 900 by 900 CNC router table and as you saw earlier I'm using a 2mm bit as this part had some small radius is in it. Normally I try to use a 3mm bit as you can cut quicker. Anyway, there you can see basically the size of the table. And in a minute, there we go, there's Mac 3. So the big screen is the parts we're cutting. The DRO's flashing there, XYZ, is where the uh, spindle is moving. And on the left hand side, all the numbers, is the G code. Uh, which the computer is following to actually cut the parts. It looks very complicated, Mac 3, but once you get your head around it, it's actually quite easy and a lot of the functions you don't use. Anyway, I hope you find this video interesting. You've got three minutes or so left. Uh, at the end, it, I do struggle picking the parts up one-handed because I was using my phone to record. I wasn't really set up to do a a video so here I'm just getting up the dust and the dust is a health risk it is a very very fine carbon like graphite out of a pencil it does get in your pores with your skin and don't breathe it in because it will do you harm um, I do pick up the parts off the vacuum table now one-handed I wouldn't use normally use a big screwdriver but that's all I had to hand um, I try to suck off most of the dust uh, from the table then I take the parts away and I wash them give them a very quick rub over um, wash them again if need be to try and get all the dust off and then dry them and pack them and that's it hopefully another satisfied customer um, using my service um, I would welcome any comments from you guys that have your own CNC routers if you want some advice, I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Um, please do add the, the questions to the bottom of the video because then that helps everyone else who, who finds the video of interest. If you uh, private message me, I would only then answer it on the video because, you know, try to answer a question once then several hundred times, I hope. Anyway, that's it. Andy signing out for now. Um, catch you another time. Cheers. Goodbye.